Welcome to another one of my trip reports. Today, I'll be flying with Virgin Australia on the second busiest air route in the world. Today's trip report began at the Queen Victoria Markets. Being a Sydney sider, I had no clue where I was going. So I looked up on my phone how to make my way to the Southern Cross Station. After walking to the closest tram stop, I waited a very short period of time before my first train of the day arrived. After arriving at whatever tram stop this is, I made my way to the adjacent tram stop. And there goes my tram. No matter, I still made it on board. After hopping off the tram, it was a short walk to the Southern Cross Station. Melbourne Airport has no tram, train or public bus service to or from the city. The best way to get to the airport if you can't afford Uber like me is to catch the Sky Bus. A return ticket from Tullamarine to the CBD costs 32 Australian dollars, which is much more affordable. Thirty minutes later, I arrived at Melbourne Tullamarine Airport, Terminal 3. I immediately made my way up to check in to get rid of my bags. Check in with Virgin Australia was simple and only took two minutes. Pro tip! Make sure you put a sticker on the side and front of your bag, so if your main tag comes off your bag, it will still make it to its destination. Five minutes later, my bag was off to Sydney. After exploring the airport, using the bathroom and taking one final breath of Melbourne's fresh air, I made my way through to security. There are four terminals at Melbourne Airport. Terminal 1 serves Qantas and Qantas Link. Terminal 2 is an international terminal. Terminal 3, which is the current terminal I'm in, was for Virgin Australia. And Terminal 4 is for everyone else. After clearing security, I felt a bit peckish and decided to buy a toasty. It was very delicious. After plane spotting for a while, my aircraft for the day finally arrived from the Gold Coast. The final boarding call for remaining gate 7 to the Gold Coast on flight VA745. This flight is in the final stages of boarding. We ask that you make your way directly to the Gate Thank you. Let's look at today's aircraft. Victor Hotel Yankee Foxtrot Hotel is a Boeing 737 800 delivered to Virgin Australia in October 2011. The aircraft was 10 years and 8 months old at the time of recording. After watching the ground crew load my bag, the boarding announcement was made. Today we boarded using gate Echo 7.
Today I was seated in seat 19A. All Virgin Australia economy seats come with a standard tray table that extends but doesn't fold. It has a safety card and an onboard menu. The seat reclines 3 inches and has a coat hook. On all Virgin Australia 737s, there are 8 business class seats in a 2-2 configuration and on the 800 series, 168 economy seats, with 30 being economy X seats with extra leg room. We pushed back exactly on time. The engines fired up and we were on our way to Sydney. Today we taxied to runway 34 via Uniform, Victor and Juliet. Just before our takeoff, a Qantas Boeing 737 landed just before us from the Gold Coast. Now it was our turn for takeoff. Now sit back and enjoy the takeoff footage. After takeoff, the cabin crew came around and asked if anyone would like to purchase anything off the menu. I bought this chocolate muffin and orange juice. To compare with Jetstar's version, I think Jetstar's muffin is better, being larger and less processed than VA's. But Virgin Australia's juice is better and doesn't taste like store bought juice. Nevertheless, it was quite good. Soon we passed over the New South Wales town of Albury. We flew north over the ACT before beginning a series of turns to land into Sydney. Forty-five minutes after takeoff, we had begun our descent into Sydney. Boy, that was very quick. 
As we started the first few turns to line up on the runway, we passed through some cloud. However, unbeknownst to everyone on board, turbulence was ahead. I got a good laugh out of it, as it took everyone by surprise. This flight was very smooth up until that point. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why they tell you to keep your seatbelt fastened, even when the seatbelt sign is off. We turned left and began our final descent. Today, we used runway 34 left for our arrival. Now, enjoy the footage. We pulled into gate 42 at Terminal 2 in Sydney. Overall, another great flight with Virgin Australia. I hope to fly with them again soon. Hopefully it'll be in business class, wink wink. Thank you all for watching and hope to see you again soon. See you later.